Um, so we can go a couple of ways here. So my name is Susie Q. Smith. Hey, everybody. So right now we could do something big and per performative, or we could do something brand new that I've never read to anyone. New stuff. No one's ever heard it. It's so weird. Um, so it's, it's part of a, a book that I'm working on. And um, we'll see if I finish it this year. <laughs> this is chapter 12. The devil's been trying to kill me my whole life. If you look close, sometimes you can see fingers curled around my throat. My throat's long been a dancer, though. A shape-shifting shadow box spinning and shrinking. She stretches and steals herself into a fortress, fire purified and filled to the brim with prayer. When I was little, my breath would start to run off. My Nana would shake prayers into my tiny frame, fighting frantic, shouting, by his stripes, I am healed. I don't know what frightened me more, the frenzy in her wild brow and mania woven all through her resolute, or the fight with the devil himself. The devil's been trying to kill me my whole life. My Nana would call on the name of Jesus, and I could see him so clear, marching into the room of fury, strutting around with his chest puffed up, waving both fists in the air, but I'm not sure that this was quite the God that Nana had in mind. She prayed out loud like she had long been conjuring, like every word mattered, like God was listening carefully because the two of them go way back, but I could back away from a losing battle like eyes can turn to glass in a Sunday service, a quiet child in a coat of many colors. The devil's been trying to kill me my whole life. My first stepfather used to knock the wind right out of my sails like a flat back fall leaves you gasping. Felt something like a failed flip or a failed father. All the signs pointing to no one really wants you. I was young. It was an easy lie to believe. I used to envy the little girl in the news who fell all the way to the bottom of a well. Felt like I was there too, but no one thought to look. I don't know if she sang to herself in the night or if she asked the stars and moon to come inside if the dark wrapped around her and sang lullabies. The devil's been trying to kill me my whole life. I didn't really learn how to breathe, how my lungs felt filled and emptied until I started smoking cigarettes. It was the first time that I ever claimed my own flesh and bones as belonging to me. That clever old devil in his big bag of tricks can slide the fight route out from under me sometimes. Silly cigarette dangling like bait from my lip made me feel like I could strut with my chest puffed up, shaking both of my fists in the air like a champion, like I knew something about fighting and saviors, or at least about facing and inhaling fears. Wow. The devil's been trying to kill me my whole life. I confess, I had tried to kill the devil too. But sometimes I wear my life like an unbuttoned jacket, Nothing to hide, easy to slip out of. This is not courage. It is no great sacrifice to let go of something you have never fully committed to. I grab the devil by the horns, but my feet are not always planted. We take turns throwing each other. It is an epic battle between the devil and God and me in between. A magical adventure of my mouth and feet. How much of this is metaphor, I still don't know. Uh -oh. <laughs> So it's called 12. I know you're, you, wouldn't, you wouldn't get this from hearing it. Um, so the, the trick of it, um, you guys want to know the secret about the book, I'll tell you the secret. Nobody knows it. There'll be multiple chapters. But So that's, that's chapter 12. Um, there are 12 lines per stanza, 12 syllables per line. There'll be 12 stanzas in the poem. That was only five. So I have a lot of work still left to do. Um, but right now, I'd like to welcome up my teammate, Mahogany. Yeah. 